Okay, everyone, welcome Lior to our presentation. And Lior, say hello. Hey, Todd and Herc, thanks a lot for having me on. You bet, man, you bet. Yeah, I guess without further ado, we should just uh, get to the show. If everyone can hear me, just give me a quick uh, one. Sweet. All right, guys, let's get started. And um, I'll share a bit more about who I am. I know I'm a, f a new face for a lot of you, and for some of you, I see that uh, familiar face. But before we get to who I am, let's just talk about what this training is about. So this training is going to be for you in the next 45 minutes if you have experience with SEO and rankings, but you'd like to add another stream of revenue to your current business. It's also for you if you've tried getting clients, but you hate cold calling, hard selling, and meeting prospects in person. It's also for you if you've already landed a couple of consulting clients, but you're struggling to get consistent, predictable sales. And last but not least, you want a step-by-step -step action plan to get endless leads that need SEO or digital marketing services. Okay, I don't just sell SEO, but it really is up to you. And do me a favor before we get started. Forget what you know about cold emailing. A lot of this training today is going to be about cold emailing. And the truth is that no one is doing this stuff I'm about to show you, and no one is definitely not teaching it. So keep calm and forget it, like you see on the right. Just let's just go in with a fresh mindset and a belief that you can do it, because I guarantee you anyone can. So let's get into who am I. So my name is Lior, and you can see my little modeling pictures over here. Someone told me that it belongs in a magazine. But the way I got started with all of this SEO stuff is from what happened to me two years ago. So wasn't I, I really do have a, a cliche internet marketing background and story of you know, the high school dropout, or university dropout rather, and moving out of parents' house, and all of that really happened, quitting my job, it all happened in the same week. And so I'm sitting there wondering, okay, how the hell am I gonna support myself? And my good friend showed me Amazon and what you can do on Amazon with ranking eBooks. So we published a couple of eBooks, started selling them, started ranking, and it really took off from, from there. And I realized, you know, if I can rank stuff on Amazon, and I can sell all these eBooks on Amazon, why don't I just learn SEO and learn other forms of digital marketing? And then I started to learn and learn and grow my skills. And I then thought, why don't I sell these skills I now have as a service to clients? as opposed to just applying it to my own Amazon business or to my own websites or affiliate sites. And that's when things really took off for me because I stumbled into client marketing by accident. I realized I have a skill, there's people out there that can actually pay me for this skill and they really did start paying me. And I used freelance websites, I used cold emailing, and really when I mastered cold emailing this year, is when things start to take off even more. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So in today's training, I'm gonna show you exactly how to cold email and land four-figure clients with only a couple of emails sent per day. And no, I'm not gonna hold anything back or sell you some $7,000 course at the end of this. But if you pay attention, you're going to walk away with a step-by-step -step action plan to do everything I mentioned here. So after watching this webinar, you're, getting, you're going to be able to get in front of prospects that desperately need your services but don't know how to find you. You're going to be able to have profitable leads sitting in your inbox that respond to your outreach. You're going to be able to add $20,000 per year in yearly income from each new client because if you land a four-figure client paying you $52,000 per month, over 12 months, that's a nice extra bump of $20,000 per year. And lastly, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do to go out there and to do this every single day. 
Okay, there's a step-by-step -step process I'm going to show you what to do each and every day. <clears throat> Just some quick screenshots. I'm not a huge fan of these, but you can see the type of potential here. So this is one of my favorite clients paying over $2,000 per month. And you can see those annoying PayPal fees at the bottom. Here's another client for $3,150 recurring. And do I really need to keep going with these guys or can we just continue with, uh, with the webby? Let's just keep going. All right, cool. So why take on clients? A lot of people here do affiliate marketing and some, some of you do client marketing, but what's the benefit of taking on clients? So here are my top four. The first is that you get paid every single month recurring. If you add another client, you make even more money. Like we showed at the example before, another $2,000 per month client, and that ends up being another 20,000 a year. So you get paid every month without hesitation, without needing to follow up or anything like that. Second benefit is you get paid up front before starting the work. So all of your expenses are paid, all of your PBN is paid, all of your plugins and tools and everything is paid up front because they simply pay you up front. You know, their credit cards are charged. You have the money sitting there, you can go and then buy the links you need to help them out or whatever it is that you're doing for them. You get paid up front, you don't have to chase them or anything like that. The third benefit. You add another revenue stream while building your affiliate sites. So I used to do a lot of affiliate sites, I used to do the Amazon stuff, and I had that income, but then when I started taking on clients, it was a completely new revenue stream and it didn't take a lot more work to handle that. And the fourth benefit is it's an extremely low acquisition cost. So you can literally get clients for absolutely free with the stuff that we're showing you today of cold emailing, or next to nothing, you know, paying for just a couple of tools or you know, paying for an assistant or something like that, can be really, really cheap to start acquiring these clients. And all of this can be replicated without knowing how to cold call or be a really good salesman or having to spend a ton of time or money finding these prospects. You don't have to be a great salesman. And my favorite one is you don't have to meet anyone in person ever. All of my sales are done over email or on the phone I probably met only one client who happened to live in the same city as me and you know we just met up but everyone else is not on the phone or you know if you're afraid of meeting people you can easily replicate this without that problem and guys it's not because I'm a genius or anything like that I just asked myself two simple questions the first is how can I find or build a list of emails of people that actually need my marketing help. So how do I know that they need my SEO help or PPC help? And then once I have those people, I ask myself another question. What can I do or say to them that will make them respond and also you know, eventually pay me for my services? So I had those two questions in mind and that's what led to this training. But before we get there, just quick, quick, a quick question. Is this you? So have you ever spent a ton of time or money trying a prospecting method that doesn't work? Or you would definitely take on recurring income clients if they showed interest, but you don't think you can land big ones? Or you're nervous to speak to a random stranger and tell them about their problems with their SEO or their digital marketing? Or you understand it takes patience to sell clients, but you don't want to waste time without a clear step-by-step -step process. Give me a quick one if that sounds like you. You've been in that position. All right, getting tons of ones, exactly. And to be honest, guys, if you answered yes to any of those, then I'm sorry to say, but you're still in trouble. Because if you sift all day through business directories trying to find prospects, how much time are you going to waste? If you don't know how to find their email addresses or their phone numbers or what to say, how can you sell them your solution? And even if you have all of that, how do you ensure that you're not marked as spam and ruin your email reputation forever? So I was in trouble too, but I kept testing and testing until I found a solution. So follow along closely. Why cold email works. And before we get into the whole step-by-step -step process, I want to show you 
the potential using math. So you're going to see and you're going to be able to walk away with real math knowing that this stuff can actually lead to getting clients. All right, so here I have my Google Sheets open. And as you can see, what we're doing here is we're trying to see how much annual revenue I can make just by sending a certain amount of emails. So let's say right now I'm making $5,000 per month through clients. And in new clients, I want to generate another $5,000 this month. So at the end of the month, I'll be at 10,000. Okay, so 5,000 new this month, and at the end, I'll be at 10,000. If I charge $1,500 per client, I only need to land 3.3 new clients in order to reach this new goal of you know, 5,000 new revenue. Now, if I speak to, let's say, four people, I'm usually able to close one. And if I close one, that means I'm a one in four conversion. So that means I need to speak to 13 people in order to close 3.3, or rather 13.3. So if I can only close one in four and I need to speak to 13 people, how many consultations do I need to do per day, meaning I'm getting on the phone, I'm explaining to them the problems with their SEO, and I'm making the sale. I only need to do less than half per day. So pretty much one consultation every other day. And if I need to do that, then how many emails do I need to send in a month to get you know, one consultation per day? I need to send 666 emails. That's considering I send I need to send 50 just to get one person to say, hey, I'll get on the phone with you. Okay, now it sounds high, but how many is that per month? It's only 22 emails. Okay, so 22 emails per day will lead to 666 emails a month, which will lead to a consultation every other day, and if I keep doing that, just sending 22 emails, I'll get three clients at the end of the month, and then my annual revenue at the end of the year will be $120,000. Okay, now let's take, we'll take a look at month two. So now that I, I added that $5,000 in revenue, my new revenue starting is $10,000, and my same goal, I want to add another five this month, another 5000 and I'll end up with 15000 How many clients do I need? 3.3 to hit that goal. How many consults? 13. Every other day, one consult or half a consult per day. 666 emails and then 22 emails per day. And boom, the next month, I just increase my revenue. Now, let's just take this whole line and see what we get you know, over time. So you can see I'll just drag this down. And you can see that already two, three, four, five, six, half a year in of doing this, I'm already at half a million per year with clients. Now obviously there's attrition and things like that, but do you see the potential here with just a couple emails per day? Give me a two if you see the potential. Or maybe give me a 22 if you see the potential. Exactly, okay, a lot of people. Does this make sense, guys? You can see the potential here? It's all math, I'm not making this up. This is pure math in Excel. If you do 22 emails a day, and you can you know, just do one in four conversions, maybe yours are better than mine, you know, if you can speak to more than one person a day, then you can grow your revenue by this much. And a lot of people want this Excel file. If you stay until the end, I'll show you how to get this Excel file. I'll just uh, give you a download link, all right? So let's move on. So the three sources of cold email leads. So what I found is that there's three main ways that I can get the actual email addresses of these people so I can start sending them. The first is by a purchased list. So I'm going to go buy the list and I'll explain this in a moment. The second is manually built lists. So I'll have a virtual assistant or something or I'll manually go out and start building a prospecting list. Third way is automated, so using a tool or something like that to automate it. So let's go through each, each of them one by one. So the first is purchase lists. So the pros of doing purchase lists is everything is there for you. There's no work required. You don't have to do anything. It's just going to be all there in an Excel file. And it's already niched down. 
right? You can just go to Google, buy a list for only one niche, and you have a niche down already. So only you know plumber clients or something like that. It can sometimes get custom with other variables. So sometimes you can order a purchase list of only you know dentists in New York making this much revenue. It can get really custom sometimes. But the problems, the cons, are that they're very pricey. So you have to fork over you know several hundred dollars to get one list in, of one niche. And oftentimes it's it's an old list or something like that, and there's many invalid emails, and you know not all of them are perfect. Also, they're much more likely to be sent to spam for that same reason. And usually you don't just get the list. When you buy purchase list, you just get the ability to blast it through the, the broker. And that's obviously a problem because you don't get a lot of data. But if you wanted to do purchase lists, here's where you'd buy them. You'd go, go to Google. You can search for you know, the niche plus buy emails or brokered emails. And you'll see a whole bunch of companies trying to sell you the same thing. You can also go to Info USA, which is a pretty reliable source. They only let you blast, but if you speak to one of the sales reps and um, spend, you spend a certain amount of money with them, they could give you the CSV of emails, which you can then you know, do whatever you want, want with them. So how do you send these emails to the prospects? So if you're not a developer, it's going to be hard to use some dev tools that will enable you to just send emails um, automatically. Your autoresponder, you can technically upload the CSV and start blasting, but it's definitely not recommended because you'll definitely get banned. And of course, you can put them one by one into Gmail or whatever you use to send emails, and you can send them one by one. Um, but I'll see you next year because that's how long it's going to take you. So the best use is if I were to A-B split test for um, sending it through InfoUSA's blast or something like that, spend a couple hundred bucks, do a blast, I'll change the headlines, see which one got higher open rates, and then I'll just buy more and more lists and use that, use that subject line. You can also use it to fill up a webinar. So blast the whole list, say, hey, come on a webinar, and you might get a couple of people in that niche to join. And last but not least, you can use a custom audience on Facebook. So you can upload the list of emails. It'll match it to people on Facebook that match that account, and you can start running ads to them, which, of course, costs more money, but you know, it does work. So overall, I don't recommend the source as I didn't have the best luck with it. So the source number two is manually built. So the pros of manually built is that it's the most accurate data possible. You simply cannot, you know, get, go wrong with this because you're, you're finding it yourself. You know it's right. You can find the owner's email this way. So you'll know who the owner is, you'll, you'll know everything about them, you can find their, their name too, and you can ensure that they actually need marketing help. You know, I'll show you in a moment how to do this, but you can find businesses in all sorts of, of criteria that need help with their SEO, their, their mobile website, whatever it is. You can ensure that they actually need marketing help. The lists you purchase, you can ensure that. <clears throat> The cons, it takes a lot of time mainly to find the name, the email. That's pretty much the, the biggest time uh, waster for this. If you hire a virtual assistant to do this, it can be pricey over time you know, to, to start building this list for you. And the data might not be so accurate. You can't do a blast with this method. So you, can't, you can spend you know, a week preparing a list of 100 names, but you can't really do a blast with that or you sort of wasted all that time. And the last con is that a lot of effort is, is needed to make it personal with one by one emails. You know, you would need to create an email, do first name, and then start typing out the whole issue that they have. But where would you find these leads if you wanted to do manual? So first, you would need a source of websites. So it depends on what you're selling. If you're selling PPC, you would need to find people not bidding on AdWords or people that have bad AdWords going on or Facebook ads. If you're selling SEO, you can go to page two of Google or you can look at websites and see if they don't have schema. And you can use you know, Project Supremacy for that. So I like to use Yelp or Yellow Pages or page two of Google and all that works just, uh, just as well. The best use for manually built email lists is to ensure that they actually need help with their marketing and add them to a prospecting list. So I'll show you that in a moment. 
and I personally like to focus on SEO and AdWords mistakes. So if they're if they have something really wrong with their website, like missing schema or they're ranking poorly or if they're running AdWords but they don't have, they have a bad landing page, that's one that I've done a lot of these with. Then what you're going to do is find the owner's first name and their email, and then you're going to send a personalized email to them with a video audit of their mistakes. So how do you create a prospecting list and find the owner's name and email? So let's do one live, shall we? So let's go back to this uh, sheet here, and you can see I have this massive list I've already started working on. And it's for roofing companies and plumbing companies in Toronto and things like that. So at the top right away, we have the company name, the website, any notes about uh, the problems they have. So in this case, it was that they weren't using a landing page for their Google ads. What keyword I used to find them? Did I make the video for them? Did I upload it to Wistia or YouTube? What was the prospect's name? Did I build a landing page? Did I test it all works? Am I going to send a physical mail or a cold email to them? Uh, did I send it? Did I log in the CRM? What's their physical address, phone number, etc.? Okay. So this is what I'm doing here. And if we're going to do one more, I can just go. I have another tab here for Shingle Repair Toronto. Okay. So what I'll do is <coughs> I'll start to look for problems that people are having. So let's just co click on these ads over here. And right away, I see a problem. So I search for Shingle Repair Toronto. And in his ad, or her ad, nowhere does it say shingles. Nowhere does it say anything about that. So right away, it's not a perfect match. And then I land on their home page. You notice this is actually just their home page. And there's nothing else on this page. It's the exact same thing. Doesn't say, doesn't have a headline, doesn't talk about shingle repair, it's just a very general page. And I get to the bottom, there's no phone number here, there's no big button, there's no opt-in. It's really, really bad. So what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to take their, their address, their website rather, I'm going to add it here, or here rather. I'll add Alpine Roofing. And the notes will be Google Ads, no landing page. And you, know, you can do the same thing with, with schema. So you can right click if you're on Chrome, view page source. And you can do you know, a search, command F, and search for schema.org. You can see nothing is coming up. So that means he's lacking schema. You can easily just go and sell this guy you know, project supremacy um, rankings. You, know, you, you already have the plugin. Just go and sell him on inserting some schema on the site. Okay, let's go to the next guy. Again, going straight to the home page, nothing else in terms of headline. It just ends at the bottom. No phone number, no buttons. Guys, these guys are wasting thousands and thousands of dollars a month on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video showing them the problems. And I'm going to point out that if they went to a special landing page for shingle repair specifically, they'll have higher conversions. If they put their phone number in big, they'll have higher conversions, but they don't have it. And you know, I can sell them SEO as well here. Again, they don't have a schema in this one. So those, those are just two examples. And then I'll go and I'll add this one as well. Dominion roofing. I'll do shingle repair Toronto. And then as I make the video showing them the problems, I'll do yes, yes. I'll find a person's first name, which is usually pretty easy. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. So you can go to About Us. Usually it could be there. It'll say like the owner's name or something. You can search the BBB. Um, let's see what we can find for this one. If I can't find the first name, I can always use who is. So you can go to who.is and you can just paste in the domain. And you'll actually sh oh. That's odd. 
There we go. This is a bit creepy, guys, but I just found the owner of this website. His name's uh, Geoff or Jeff Silverberg. I have his address, phone number. Please don't call him. But just like that, I have his, his name. So that's just one way that I find it. Usually I go straight to who is. But here I have his, his name, paste it in, and yeah, I have the phone number on the website, the email should be there too. Uh, so it's administrator Dominion Roofing. I'll probably look for a better one. Service at Alpine Roofing. He'll probably answer that one, um, considering he's the owner, unless they're a really big company. But see the contact page. You have a phone number and address here, so I can send them mail. And you start to get the gist of it, right? So that's what we're doing here. We're looking for their problems. A lot of people are asking for this marketing hit list as well. I can definitely send it to you as well. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the presentation. So now that we have a list built, you know, you saw how within minutes I found two leads and I was able to find the first name, the email, the problems with their website. Let's discuss what to send them in the actual email that I'm about to send them. So there's four types of cold emails. The first one is called the audit. Then there's the fake audit. Then there's the boss trick. Then there's the straight kill. Okay, they sound cool, so let's get into them. First type is the audit. So I recommend a custom screen recording video. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up their website like I did, walk them through their marketing results, uh, or their marketing mistakes rather, while recording your screen. You're going to edit it into a video template of you making your offer. Then you're going to take that video and paste the video into a landing page template using Unbounds or Lead Pages. And then you're going to mail it to them. You know, mail it to them, say, here's the issue with your website, I made you a video. You can send a follow-up email as well. And then you can get the consultation, you know, keep pushing for it, follow up with them, however you like. And here's just a quick example of how I do that. So this is a landing page I made for uh, Paul's Landscaping Services. So what I meant by template is as follows. So you can see here I recorded myself on video, and then I left this part blank. But I took a screenshot of his website, put it into my video so it looks like I'm really there, like, speaking and pointing to his website, and then I go into the audit of his website. And that includes showing him how I went from Google Ads to his really bad homepage, and at the end, it ends in me saying, hey, you know, go for a free consultation down below, and then there's a bit more text, and then they can book a time directly with me here. So that's the whole audit, and I'll take this link, I'll put it in an email, I'll send it right over to Paul. So that's the audit. Now there's also something called the fake audit. So in this method, you're simply implying that you made an audit for them, but that you need a response first. So if it's a responsive email address that you found, and the person is interested in what you have to say, they're going to reply asking you for you to send it over. So that proves both. It shows that it's a responsive email and that they're really interested in seeing an audit. But then you can go and actually do the audit. So you didn't have to do any work in the beginning. All he did was send a, you know, a fake image or something like that, a fake screenshot I'll show you in a moment, and you're implying you did the audit, but you don't have to actually do it. And then when they say, hey, yeah, send it over, or who's the proper person to send it over, and then you know, wow, they're actually interested, I'm going to go and do the audit, and then boom, you're in with them. So this is great for prospects you don't think are worth the time, or if you want to do a whole batch of them at once. So if you, if, you, if you build a whole manual list and you realize, you know, I don't know if this guy is making enough money to pay me 2000 per month, I don't want to spend 10 minutes doing a whole audit for him, I'll just, I'll just imply it in audit. You know, you can do it just as well. It's really the same amount of value. And here's an example of the fake play button. So right here is just an image, and it's a, I took a screenshot of his website, put the play button on top, and then I can send this image over to him in an email saying, hey, I made this video for you. Where do you want me to, who do you want me to send it to? Or are you the proper person to send it to? It shows you your marketing mistakes. That's the fake audit, guys. 
it's it's a killer. So uh, enjoy. Type three, the boss trick. This strategy is good for larger companies with more hierarchy or bureaucracy, or bureaucracy, as well as when you can't find the appropriate person to email. So these people tend to be busier, but if their boss tells them to do something, then they must do it. So what you do is like this. You send an email to the boss first, asking who the appropriate person is to speak to about their marketing efforts. Then. The boss will forward your email to the proper person or he'll just respond to you saying this is the proper person and what you're going to do is you're going to take that response from him and send it to the proper person. And that person, that marketing manager, whoever's in charge of the sale can't ignore an email that their boss literally just told them, you know, you need to speak to this person. So this almost guarantees a consultation every single time. Does that make sense? You're going to the boss saying, hey, who do I speak to? He goes, hey, you can speak to John. You go to John being like, hey, you, know, you paste in the email saying, your boss just said I should speak to you about this. He's not going to ignore you. His boss just told him to go speak to you. That's the boss trick and it's good for companies who you're not sure who to speak to or if there's a lot of people at play or if you want to speak to the marketing manager and you want them to answer for sure. All right. The fourth method is straight kill. So you're going straight for the kill and it can be effective for foot in the door sales or low priced offers. So the idea is as follows. The idea is to gain commitment for a consultation or a sale right away for a small offer. So you can do like a $20 social media creation and then once they, they do that, you can then go and sell them you know, $2,000 per month SEO. And you did something small and they're likely to sign up on the spot. So they're either interested or they're going to have more questions. There's no, there's, no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. And this can be combined with a fake straight kill, which I sort of just invented right now. And check this out. So I never even signed up for a trial from this guy from Adobe, but I got this email the other month. He goes, hi, Liara, I hope all is well with you. We've never met, but I'm writing because I noticed that you started a trial with us the other day. I thought it made sense to reach out to you directly since we work with a ton of other businesses in your area. If you're open to it, it would be great to learn more about what you're doing and how we might work together. Can you or someone on your team hop on a quick 15-minute call next week to explore? So I didn't even sign up for Adobe. It's possible I did like months, months or years before. And he sent this to me, you know, and what he's trying to get out of me is essentially going for the straight kill, trying to get a 15 minute sales call with me. And he combined it with a fake straight kill because I didn't even sign up for a thing. And, you know, I actually ended up replying saying, hey, like good cold emailing. And we started chatting about cold emailing. So that's just a quick example of how you can use a straight kill and combine it with a sort of fake straight kill. I've seen people just say, hey, are you still interested in doing Facebook ads? And they would get a ton of responses and people saying, yeah, I'm definitely interested. Or, yeah, uh, let's talk more. And like, they don't even know who the person is. But uh, I've seen people killing it with that. So let's go through the do's and don'ts of cold emailing. So this is a bit of a bonus for you guys. So do. You do want to state why you are emailing them right away. Notice how the guy in the previous slide he stated exactly why he was emailing me. You know, he doesn't know me, but I signed up for a trial. You can say, you know, I, you don't know who I am, but I, I am a digital marketer and I saw that you had these critical mistakes. Then you can use social proof of how you're a good and interesting fit. So that, <clears throat> notice how he said that he works with other people in my area. Okay, so that was like, oh, thing. he works with other people that I, I might know. Then he included a call to action. So you want to include something that's a question or a demand that just tells them to do something. So like click on this link or respond to me with a time or what time is good for you next week. You also want to include your phone number in case they just want to skip all of that and just pick up the phone and call you. What you don't want to do is include a link to your website. If you include a link to your website, what's going to happen is they're just going to click on your on your link and 
they're going to look at your website, see you do SEO, and they're going to realize, yeah, but this isn't really for me. So I'm not going to respond to him. Okay, so let's go. Let's look at this guy again. You see how he, his website's nowhere in his signature. He put Adobe sign there, but it's not a hyperlink. He put his phone number and his email. No website. You don't want to use CC. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you don't want to use attachments. It'll just go to spam. You don't want to give over too much information. So don't give an essay of why they need your help. You want to make it curious for them. You want to build curiosity. You know, open my email, and then I made an audit for you. So you don't want to give up too much. You want them to take the next step first. And the last don't is don't beg or be salesy. Don't explain that you really need their help or, or you know, push too hard just to get a consultation with them. Okay. If you follow this, your cold emailing success will be, you know, much more likely. A couple of high converting subject lines. So these are the, these are a couple that I've been using. And they're just killer. So the subject line is what determines if your email even gets opened or not. So it's really the first step. And I was just looking over some stats today. We're over 75% open, open rates on the first contact. Okay. So these subject lines work and you obviously want to use them appropriately. So you want to make it count by raising curiosity. First one is strange question. You can use like dot, dot, dot if you want. And they'll be like, what's this guy's question? I'm so curious. Second one is appropriate person. And they're thinking that it's a sales thing and you just need to know who the appropriate person is. Third one, have you seen this? And they're like, oh, like, I'm so curious. What is it that I haven't seen? Fourth one, your website is broken? Question mark. People freak out when they see this. I would be careful how you use this. Um, I actually send it to people who have like really bad websites or the landing page is completely broken or their SEO is really, really bad, um, people will 100% open that email, but they'll be pissed off. It's something else. So those are my four highest converting subject lines. Feel free to use them um, and enjoy. Guys, we have a lot of questions going on. Um, definitely I'll get to them at the end. A lot of questions. All right, guys, give me one if you're getting a lot of value out of this so far. Okay, awesome. One plus one plus one. Okay, guys, let's keep going. So crucial tools you're going to need for cold emailing. So you are going to have to invest in some tools to make this a lot easier for you or else you're just stuck in the stone ages of Gmail. So if you download Yesware or Sidekick, they're paid softwares, but it's going to allow you to track email open. So you can actually see when the people they're emailing open it. You can see what device they're opening it on, when they open it, from where they open it. It's a bit creepy, but it's got to be clients. I've had someone sign up through my website, and we had a whole consultation. He wasn't so interested, and he kept saying, soon, soon, soon. Three months later, I'm just browsing on my computer, probably watching Netflix to be honest, and I get a little notification on the side and it says, this guy has opened your email. And I said, whoa, that guy's from like three months ago. Quickly responded saying, hey, are you ready to get started with this? He goes, yep, let's do this. Send over the payment link. Boom, right, right then and there, assign someone who you know, I wouldn't have been able to do with these crucial softwares. Rebump is a good software that will allow you to follow up. But it really only lets you send one sequence, and it's a bit complicated. It's also a bit pricey. Camtasia or ScreenFlow is going to allow you to record your screen to do those audits. And then you can record that video, upload it to Wistia for hosting marketing videos. Wistia will give you some cool stats about where the person is when they watched it, how long of the video they watched, you know, when they started getting bored. If they were paying attention, it's really, really powerful. You can use Unbounce for hosting landing pages. I love Unbounce. Easy to use, drag and drop the video, it's all good to go. And then to send them, if you're doing manual, you can do Gmail, plus you can install canned responses to save you time. So it'll just allow you to sort of paste in 
a template you have for audits and things like that. And I'm going to give you those templates in a moment. So we went over purchase lists and manually scraping lists. But I mentioned that there's one more to get, one more way to get these email lists. And that way is automation. So what if there was a way to have something running that did every single step above that we mentioned automatically? And yes, that's a word. Well, I actually found a tool that does that. You want to see? Give me a two if you want to see this tool. All right, people dying to see this tool. All right. Guys, introducing scope leads. For the past year and a half, my team and I have been developing a piece of software that literally does every single step that we just mentioned automatically for you and on autopilot. We've tested it and retested it and it simply does the job. So what is scope leads? So what it does is it first creates a list of businesses that are actively in need of your services. If you need SEO, it'll find them. If you need PPC, it'll find them. If they need you know, schema, it'll find it. Then it finds all of their information and of course it finds their email address. So the same way we made that prospecting list, it does that too. You can create a completely custom audit showing them the problems with their website. Right? So instead of recording a whole video, you just push one button and the whole audit is made for you. A personalized spam-free email is sent to the entire prospecting list that I just built. The software will then send conditional follow-up emails based on the recipient action. So if the recipient opened the previous email or they clicked on the audit link in the previous email or if they didn't open the email, the next email in the series will get triggered and you don't have to worry about following up with 666 emails every month because Scope Leads does it for you. And everything is tracked in the neat CRM with beautiful reporting. Did I mention that all of that is done in just seconds? Just by clicking go. Imagine searching for your niche, going to sleep, and waking up to dozens of people that responded to you, interested in your offer. Scope Leads isn't available to the public for another month, but you'll get a chance to use it in a moment. But first, let me show it to you live in action so you can see how powerful it is. All right, guys, so this is the beautiful dashboard of Scope Leads. And of course, you can see some really interesting and neat stats like how many leads you got that day and you know how many searches you've done, how many emails you've sent, emails were opened, how many links in the emails were clicked. All that is reported for you automatically. But if you remember, the first step was to get the emails. So that's done over at campaigns. So I head over to our campaigns and here you can see I have three campaigns running on this account. So I'm trying to get lawyer clients, dentist clients, and plumber clients. In my lawyer clients campaign, I have a couple searches running. So let's do a new search. So right away, I'm presented with five options. I can search for businesses that are lacking social media presence, and then I can sell them social media pages, you know, for $20, and then they become my client. I can find people who have poor SEO, and I'll get to this in a moment, but I can find people who are actually missing schema and just use Project Supremacy and you know, sell them schema. People that are lacking in AdWords. People, anyone in your city that has a business but doesn't have a website, we're able to actually find your, their information. And last but not least, the mobile lacking. So we'll show you with an iPhone view what their website looks like and we can really just start to get leads just like this. So let's just, let's just do schema lacking because it's probably the most relevant here. So I'll do a search for lawyers in Manhattan. Cliche, I know. Click next. 
So right away, I can do standard or auto mode. Standard will just give me all the results, and I can start working with them manually and you know, cleaning them up and whatever I like. Auto mode means that the moment the search is done, they'll all be emailed automatically. So auto mode is a pretty much go to sleep, wake up the next day with leads in your inbox type of mode. We'll just stick with standard, standard for now. So I'll let that finish, and while that's going, it's going to take less than a minute or so, we'll take you over to email templates. So remember, there was two steps, how to find the emails, and then what to say to them. And that's where we come full circle in templates. With templates, you can simply do, you know, create some templates like this one here, and obviously this is just fake data, but look at how powerful each email can be and how custom it can get. So we have something called merge fields to make sure that every email is super custom, personalized, and spam free. So the merge fields, I can insert their business name. I can insert a company address, their website, their phone number. I can insert a screenshot showing what their the website looks like on mobile. So I can say, hey, you know, you're not mobile responsive. You need a better website. Or I can insert social lacking word fields. So like, hey, you're missing these social profiles. And then when the email sends, it's going to paste in, you know, Facebook, comma, Twitter, comma, Google Plus. And it's going to be completely personalized that way. And of course, we have a spam score checker. Make sure everything is good. But the best part is in email sequences. With an email sequence, you can actually create a series of emails that does the follow-up automatically. So the first email will be just, you know, first, and we can write anything we want. And then, of course, we can add another email to that. And then we can say in the second email, you know, how many days after the previous email should this one be sent? So I'll do one, so like um, the day after, but based on a condition. So Prospect didn't open the previous email. Prospect opens the previous email. Prospect opens, opens it but doesn't click on a link. And you can start to see how powerful this can get with customization. And this is all done. So this is probably the most powerful part of the whole software. And oh, our campaign just finished over there. Let's just show you a couple of other stuff with campaigns. So if you view a campaign, you'll see that we got 11 leads in New York. And all of them are missing schema on their website. And look at this data. Look how clean it is. We have the name. We have the phone. We have the address, phone number. It's all filled out. And we found their actual email address. And right away, we can run an audit or we can send them an email saying, hey, you're missing schema. Or, you know, we can just go to the bottom and email all of them and say, hey, you're missing schema. We, we can help you with that. And you can also download the whole list to Excel and run it that way. If you want to take a look at what the audit looks like, you see how, how pretty blazing flat it is. But the audit is going to generate a unique link that I can then send to the prospect. And we actually bought a cool domain called auditmy.site. So you can see, obviously, this is going to change to your logo, auto prepare for. It's going to start to go over different problems with their with their on-page optimization. So you have you know 16 images without alt tag, your page speed low test, and it gives them custom suggestions of what they can do to fix their site, their mobile page, what it looks like on mobile, you know, so you can see how bad it is and they can see how bad it is. Suggestions for mobile. We got start to get into the social counter, social networks and their keyword stuff, and at the bottom, it's gonna say, you know, call me now to fix these problems. And what you can do is you can generate a public link, and you can even merge this in as a merge field into any of those emails that you have, okay? So that's pretty much it for that. And I wanna show you one more that's really, really cool that I'm really proud of, my team and I made. It's called Mobile Lacking. So with Mobile Lacking, you'll see an actual iPhone view of a campaign, you know, all the lawyers in New York who have bad websites. So if, if any of you use Tinder before, any of these dating apps, this will look familiar. So you can literally just be walking around and building a list of bad websites. So they have a bad website, good website, good website, 
bad website, you know, and as, look how bad this website is. If I show this person, you know, look how bad your website is, guys, I can be walking to the gym and as I'm clicking, you know, this check marks, they're getting an email automatically. I'm just swiping left and right on my phone. And they're going to get an email that says, hey, your website looks like this. You need help. And then at the end, it's going to generate that lead list. So this is how powerful scope leads is, guys. And everything we just did before manually, and I'm sorry for like wasting all your time and showing it to you manually, it's completely automated and tracked for you. So I'll just show you really quickly a campaign that I ran earlier. I can find it. And you can see that it tracks everything for me. So if I sent an email, this guy opened it this morning. So it's going to show me opened. And then what I can do is I can then update the status. So I can update, you know, he responded or I won the deal. And it'll track everything for me over there as well. You can see the sent, opened, link clicked, and all that stuff. So everything is automated and tracked for you. And yes, it works. And yes, it gets results. So here's from Michael, one of our power users, and he says, I want to thank Lira and the team for creating such an awesome software. I was able to land two clients in the roofing niche and one client who covers a range of different services. Now I have my hands full trying to fulfill the services for the clients. If you're looking to save money and a way to get more consistent flow of leads, this is for you. Keep up the great work. Craig got two consultations today. Ron loves to do cold emailing, so he goes, I put in some keywords for local plumbers that are missing websites, and I got five new leads to cold call in about one minute. This is going to be very, very fun. So how can you use scope leads right now? When scope leads opens at the end of the year, it's going to cost $100 per month for all of these features. When we launch in a month to the public, the lifetime price will be $335. There will be four crucial components available and it's important for you to understand them now. So just to show you, this is our public launch. You can see we got Todd Spears involved as a JV manager and we're launching on the 16th of August. And if you go to our JV page, you can already see the prices are set in stone. If you add these all up, it's going to be $335. Oops quite expensive to get everything involved. So let me explain to you what's actually involved. So the first component is the pro version. So Scope Leads Pro unlocks the ability to run two additional campaign types, AdWords and website lacking. So those aren't included in the main the basic version. It also unlocks automation and that's the feature that lets you go to sleep while it emails everyone for you. And last but not least, Smart sequences will be unlocked, which allows the follow-up emails to be sent automatically. The second component is high converting templates. So we have word-for-word -word templates that simply work and they're going to be preloaded into your account. You can use them as templates or sequences and get the same results I have and then I've tested this stuff. So there's a total of 12 templates for each campaign type. We have Craig here who's also a power user. He says, everyone should be using this script. It works. The third component is the consultation sales training with $67. So what I've done is I've made a training series by yours truly on how to take the prospects from interested to paying you. So it's a step-by-step -step what to say in the phone call to sell your services without being salesy. And it's also how to move them from scope leads into a phone call or into a, a proper consultation where you can sell them. You have the software, now you know how to sell them. And that also includes a complete six-figure script available for you to download and use. And this is what Drew had to say about the script. I haven't even really had time to implement the new lead sources yet. It's really just the sales technique that has drastically improved my close rate. And he just told me last week, that since he started implementing this, he's more than tripled his business. The fourth component is private network and ongoing training. So what we're going to have is bi-monthly webinars to keep you engaged and learning the newest cold email methods. 
you'll be able to chat with like-minded software users and learn what's working for them and all that sort of stuff. You can request new features, get blazing fast support, and get access to bonus features and giveaways. To be honest, the beta group that we had when we were testing the software is really what made this software great. The feature requests we got in there, everyone in there together, sharing their templates, sharing their scripts, that alone is worth so much. So right now, for this webinar only, you can get all of those components and all of the features included at the lowest it will ever be, at 197. So that's a total savings of $138. Guys, if you want to get in right now, you can go to projectsupremacy.com slash scope leads. And we've also just sent it to you in the chat box, so if you want to go and get it right now, start using it, start getting some leads, you can click on the link in your chat. And of course, that's for lifetime access. There's no version 2.0, there's no different upgrades you gotta pay for. This is lifetime access, unlimited everything. That's a lot of questions, I promise I'll get to them in a moment. But right now, you have two options at this point. The first option is that you keep emailing everyone manually. You can take everything you learned today, spending hours, or even days preparing and tracking everything, or you can start using scope leads and automate your sales process at the cheapest it will ever be. I can guarantee that. You will have more dedicated support and the ability to request cool features before thousands jump on in August. Guys, just today we implemented four new features from requests that people have had in the past week. We're really fast now before thousands jump on, this is what you get. More, some more testimonials from Herb. Scope leads is the whole package, just about everything you need to generate leads from potential clients. We have stopped wasting time cold calling to get the leads we need. We have signed up three new clients using scope leads that we would have never landed using the methods that were typical for us before we got Lear's tool. Travis says, Lear and the team have outdone themselves with scope leads. I've been trying to find a tool to reach this many potential clients forever. It's an amazing time saver, using a single software to reach so many companies. Just enter the potential client niche and it brings back sometimes hundreds of people you can contact. Then a couple more clicks and you've sent them all personalized emails. It's a beautiful design that works exactly how you want it to. The only issue I'm having now is keeping up with the people interested in our services. Here's one from Ogus. Scope leads, scope leads has become our go-to software and we use many. For not only email addresses and business information, we also started using it to build a list of phone numbers for our outbound calling team. Very user friendly, it works faster than any similar software we've tried before. So far we love it. Carly is, one, Carly is a good testimonial for people who are just getting into SEO or really haven't gotten clients yet. She started using it. So as a beginner to the world of client SEO, I had a lot to learn in a short amount of time. I wanted to grow my business quickly, but I had heard how difficult it was to find new leads. After discovering scope leads, I knew that I was doing myself a huge favor by using it. I was about to generate long email lists of genuine business owners who I could then reach out to. This process used to take hours. I was amazed at how efficient and simple scope leads made the whole process. Highly recommend trying it. So who is scope leads for? So anyone with tools like Project Supremacy that can deliver results, but you need to find new clients to sell to, then Scope Leads is the perfect companion. Anyone starting in digital marketing that needs a clear plan of action with a tool that can get it done, you can use Scope Leads. Anyone with experience selling SEO, PPC, social media, or websites, if you already have experience and you want to get more clients, this is perfect for that, and we have huge agency owners using it as well. Anyone with a sales team that is hungry for leads and wants to save time. We have more testimonials from James. Leo, this package is worth, worth thousands of dollars. Iman brought me on, and I've been enjoying it every day. Kudos for this great launch, man. Favorite SEO app by far. Guys, I want to introduce you to Iman. So he left a testimonial here for our Facebook group. And this was exactly 
It was really 12 hours after he purchased because we sold it at night and the next morning he posted this. So the last 24 hours-ish has been freaking crazy. Not only have I made a positive ROI from getting scope leads, but I got my foot in the door with some of the biggest companies in my area. I used the unique method while cold emailing prospects. And then he goes on to say how he's going to share some training with the group. So we have a special webinar bonus. Only for the people buying right now on this webinar, I will share the exact walkthrough that Michael did to land those three roofing clients and that Iman just did and that they created that landed them their clients using scope leads. So you're going to get Michael and Iman's campaigns, their scripts, everything. They already uploaded it. It's in, it's in the Facebook group and it's only available for people on this webinar. And to be honest, training from real users is worth more than anything I can provide for myself. So, provide myself rather. You know, anything I say or testimonials or anything like that, it really all comes down to other users. People that have already used it, got results, like all the testimonials you just saw, they're actually providing training for you and they've told me I can use their training um, you know, for this webinar. So guys, we'll take questions now. If you want to get scope leads right now and get these bonuses, go to projectsupremacy.com slash scope leads. All right, let's take some questions now. I have a feeling there's going to be a whole lot of them. Hey, Lior. Hey. Yeah, I've been watching and I know I see a lot of the same ones coming in over and over again. So just to eliminate a lot of those, I'm going to ask those to you for those people. Um, a lot of people are asking if this can be used anywhere in the world. Yeah, definitely. So it can be used anywhere in the world. As long as you can search Google, you can search scope leads. So it's really as simple as just putting in the keyword and you'll get fresh leads. And I know people are going to say, well, is it one big database? How does that work? Guys, it's fresh leads every single time. I've had times when I've done the same search 10 minutes apart and I've gotten completely different leads. So don't have to worry about competition. It's literally as fresh as, you know, as Google changes or as, you know, people have, people change their, the state of their websites. So if they add a schema that day, it's going to change the next day. And would it be correct to say, like, if you wanted to target, say, a certain area of the world, like say UK or London, for instance, that you would just do your search for like London plumber? Exactly. So the first thing you would do is put in the word plumber and then in the city search, you could search anywhere in the world. Guys, today we were searching from like small cities in Brazil and we were getting leads. Literally anywhere in the world, a lot of our customers are using it in Australia, UK, I'm in Canada and of course America. <laughs> um, a lot of pricing questions they want to know is there upsells is it a one-time offer is it monthly yeah so when we launch in about three months from now and I make this available to the public I'm going to be charging very very high price like I mentioned per month what you're getting now is a much much cheaper version for lifetime access so you're saving around $140 and you're getting lifetime access. So it's going to include all those four components that we went over, and I'll go over them again in a moment, but uh, you're getting all those four things, the email templates, the pro version, the sales training, and the Facebook group, and the webinars and all that stuff. All that is one-time price. I promise we're not going to sell you anything else. Um, really don't have plans to sell anything else. Yeah, guys, so I just want to state that very short and very clear. It's 197 one time. That is it. Okay. Chase says, is it integrated with certain autoresponders? You can just uh, download it and upload to your autoresponder. Don't recommend it, but um, yeah. Some, some people ask about certain features. Guys, that's why you ha we have this group. We adding features every single day. Today we added around four or five features alone. So we have a whole list and people vote on them in the group and things like that. When we launch the public, that's gonna stop. So this is like getting in at ground level, being a part of something as well, and you know, you're having your, a chance for your voice to be heard. 
Can we use it for our clients for their prospecting? Of course. <laughs> Can't change it for them. Hey, Martin, I see your question there, and the answer is yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He's like, is it the pro, pro, pro version? Yes, no OTOs. This is, guys, this is the special webinar price that I put together for Herc and Todd and for Project Supremacy members. Everyone at launch is going to be paying $335 for all these components. You're only paying $197. There's no upsells, nothing like that. And yes, we just saved you a month of waiting. Is there limits on your, your leads that you can add to the system and email limits and stuff like that? There's no limits. Um, that's a simple answer. There's a fair usage policy. If you're sitting there all day clicking refresh, we might tell you to calm down. But hopefully you won't do that because remember, all you need to do is send 22 emails a day to hit that goal. And uh, you know, with one campaign, you're already sending up to 60. I just want to point this out too. I don't know, like there, there's a lot of ways that you can use this tool, guys, to target new potential clients. Um, and then I know Lear kind of talked about Project Supremacy a little bit and Schema being that obviously a lot of you are from Project Supremacy, but anyone that was in our coaching or anyone that's been on, of our web, on any of our webinars, if you've seen how easy and fast it is to add Schema to a website and how quickly those changes will result in, um, in an increase in rankings, an increase in your social profiles, your Google Maps profiles, and your site, you could literally be cleaning up with this and using Project Supremacy for your fulfillment just on schema. And we're not even talking now about the mobile prospecting tools and all the other tools that he has. I'm just saying just from schema. So like that's kind of why we went with the angle guys of like Project Supremacy is about to make you a lot of money because it's a fulfillment tool and what Lior's presented here is an absolutely amazing prospecting tool, plus all the stuff he's put on the back end. He's put his experience and his time and, you know, everything that he's done in his career to learn how to close these clients, and he's put it all into this system. And I guarantee you one thing, guys, this, this system wasn't just some crazy cockamamie idea that he came up with. This came out of a need for him to be more efficient with what he does that works. I guarantee you that. So you can, like, it's an amazing tool at an amazing price, and uh, it's just such a killer opportunity, and that's why we wanted to bring it to you guys. Hey, guys, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I made a special feature just for her. It's called Schema Hunter. It's in addition to Schema Lacking. So if you come across a friend or a buddy or anyone that you think might, might have not have Schema, you can pop it into Schema Hunter, and instantly it'll be added to that list of whether or not they need marketing help. Uh, I know you can just send them an email saying, hey, I noticed you're missing schema, here's the importance of it. So I made it just for you. Yeah, and I saw a guy actually asking about that. How would you prospect someone and try to sell them something like schema when really most people don't even know what schema is? And, okay, I have two answers for that. Number one, part of what you get within 197 is access to Lior for questions. And there's a group, right, Lior? Exactly. Okay, so you can go in there and get great ideas from Lior, who's obviously a really good salesperson. He knows how to approach people. But the other thing, what I would do, guys, is very, very simple. If you're trying to explain schema, get an example of a site that's listed in the natural results in Google with the star ratings. So you can go to, like, uh, I think Spray Foam uh, was a good example. If you do Spray Foam Edmonton, you'll see those star ratings. Those star ratings are as a result of schema. So that's something simple that you could show them and say, look, if you want your listing to have these star ratings, that's what schema is. So you just need a simple something to say to them to explain that. And it's uh, it's something that will definitely sell because it's, it's rare that uh, local businesses have star ratings, you know, all the way from one to 10. So people will want that stuff. And guys, don't forget, you don't have to, we took the guesswork out for you. You don't have to think about how to prospect it. We've included 12 te templates that have proven to work. People are using them right now and getting results with them. So you don't have to think, you know, how do I position it? We've already written them all up for you. You can use send the same ones, personalize it with the merge fields, you know, add your own flair to it if you want. 
and you're good to go. Hey guys, if anyone's already purchased, give me a, a hashtag I'm in there. That's all I want to see. Uh, just see how many people are uh, jumping in us to get prepared nice. for uh, the coming, yeah. Welcome Mark. Mark, oh, Mark. Mark. Brad, Dick, Davis, Eileen, JC, Melton, Bill, Grayson, Martin, Brad, Mike, Eric, Simon, James. Wow. Awesome, guys. This is uh, really cool. Glad y'all like it. Uh, Lior, one other thing. I know. Thing. I'm impressed. Um, I just see a few people trying to buy and just getting errors for whatever reason. Do you have any sort of support email that they could get to you uh, if they're trying to buy and having issues? Yeah, you can go to support at scopebrush.com. I'll send it to all right now. Sure, that'd be great. For anyone that's having an issue. You want to go ahead and check that link? Let's see if it uh, should be working right. Mark says, I need serious help with sales, closing. Um, yeah, people are already giving us great compliments about the sales training. We got you covered on all angles. You know, another good, um, one of other really good reasons why I like this uh, tool so much is the uh, the Tinder style mobile review of numerous websites. I mean, the ability to to view, the ability to see someone has a as a non mobile friendly website, um, and to present that to them. This is what your site looks like on mobile, and sixty to seventy percent of all traffic is coming through on mobile these days. And you look like this. It's real hard for them to say uh, you're wrong, or <laughs> no, it doesn't, or anything like that. I mean, it's just such an in. Like, hey, you've got a big problem here. No one on a mobile device is going to stay on your site for more than a second. They're going to bounce, and they're going to go to the next guy because they can't read what you're about. They're not going to pinch and pinch and pull try and find your contact form. They're just going to leave. And I love the way Scope Leads has that built in where you can just swipe around and click a button and automatically, you know, send out mails to those companies with bad websites. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, I don't know how to make a, a mobile-friendly site. Well, you don't have to. Okay, there's a lot of tools out there that can do it for you for cheap. Okay, uh, due to mobile, is one very well respected mobile site builder and you honestly don't even have to know how to use that you could pay someone you could literally charge someone a thousand dollars and you know twenty bucks a month to make their mobile site make their site mobile friendly and host it for them and then you could literally pay someone who has all the tech skills in making mobile sites mobile friend or making sites mobile friendly and look good a couple hundred dollars guys that do it every day. It's really pretty easy to do once you get used to doing it. So there are a lot of guys out there that already know how to do it easily and aren't going to charge you a whole lot because they know they can get it done in a day. And to them, you know, $200 for spending six hours on transforming a site into a mobile friendly site is not a big deal to them. So I just want to really point that out that that's a real clear and concise way to show someone that they have a problem and you have the solution and they can see it with their own two eyes. Uh, schema is also a very big, uh, uh, you know, we, we like to use schema a lot because we know it improves their rankings. Okay, but you could, once you get in the door with one of those aspects, you can always upsell them into bigger offers. I mean, because a lot of people out there when you contact them, they're like, who are you? I don't trust you. I've been burned by other people trying to sell me internet marketing crap in the past. It's never worked out. But you could specifically show them when they have problems, they're more, uh, they're going to be more interested in listening to you. And then when you prove you can solve that problem, then you've got the in to become their friends, become their, you know, their technical partners, and charge them five hundred thousand, two thousand a month, depending on the niche they're in. Yep. Some people say you can go to Upwork, do that. That's what I do. Absolutely. Isaac asks. But licenses and where I can use it. So, guys, this is a web-based software. Um, you can use it on your phone. It's mobile responsive. Um, you can use it anywhere you have internet. So you don't need to download it. <clears throat> you don't need to upgrade or anything annoying like that. Um, it's all it's all there for you online. 
Yeah, there's one other question I kind of want to apply to this because people may not be thinking about this. Someone's asking if they can apply it to rep management. And here's the thing. Uh, Sue's asking this question. You could actually apply this to a lot more than what's just in the tool. I mean, uh, just as a really stupid example, um, you could apply this to if your website is red. You know what I mean? You want to make it blue because it's it's a lead generation tool, you guys. You could just go up, get the leads, analyze the websites, pull the leads in, and then email them to fix whatever the problem is. There are obviously features of the tool that make it easier for certain things like the mobile prospector and the schema, um, but it can do anything really. It just depends how creative you are with going out, finding the websites that have the issues. So it is very versatile. Yeah, we see people using it in crazy ways, like things I never even thought of. Um, people cold calling, obviously, people downloading the lists and then starting to send mail to those people, importing it to their CRMs, a whole bunch of options. No, no ongoing monthly, guys. I just want to go quickly over the four components so you're, you're crystal clear on what you're getting here. So, uh, where are we? All right, so the, the last one is the private network and ongoing training. So we're going to do four uh, webinars, and we've already lined up great ideas. A lot of your questions are going to be dealt in these webinars. So like, how do I do a video audit for someone? Or what's the best templates and subject lines and you know mix and match use of scope leads? We're going to go over all those. And really, the group is so powerful. It's so active. Everyone's in there every day just talking about how they're using it. Just yesterday, someone shared like a, a template that he says is converting at 10%, which is higher than even my templates. So once you're in the group, which you get access to with 197 price, you're just using people's templates and things like that. Then we have my sales training. Honestly, I sell my sales coaching program for 3000 $2,800 regularly and for me to sell it at $67 or the value of $67 is, is a bit embarrassing to be honest <laughs> but you're getting it included for you so it's really my best stuff after doing hundreds of calls everything I know about sales is in this training and it's all in your back end for you you don't have to download anything it's just all in the back end of the software you get our templates, so high converting templates. From what I've tested and tested with subject, open rates, um, you know, responses, clicks, things like that, you've even built into the tool ways that can get the person to like open up the email more, like including certain alt images and really, really neat stuff. So all that is included. Um, at this price and of course you're getting the pro version so there's no OTOs, there's no upsells, you're getting the pro version automatically so you're unlocking AdWords lacking, website lacking, you're unlocking auto feature, email all feature and you're unlocking the follow-up smart sequences so you don't have to think about when to follow up, it just does it for you. All right, let's take on more questions. Can you get that support link up too? Because I see some more people that for some reason there's something not working with PayPal. I think it's just the... You want me to send the support to... Yeah, put it in the, uh, the chat box and then send it to the entire audience and then anyone that needs support will have it. Sweet. Or you can even just send it to me and I can, as I see people who need support, I'll just send them that link if you don't want to put that out there. I got Thanks, a lot of questions promising that to them. <laughs> yeah, our support, we just we just brought on uh, two support staff. So there's five of us in total. We're running from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, so we're really on top of things. And my dev just told me that it's, there's no issues with software, it could just be that Zax is plugging out a lot of traffic. Right on, Jana. Thank right, you. Welcome, Martin.
Philip says, where's the Excel links? Yeah, I'll share in the Facebook group. Or rather, if you didn't purchase, but you still want the Excel uh, spreadsheets, just shoot me an email to support, and I'll get that over to you. Where do we find a month templates? That's in your back end and tutorials. Once you pay, it's all there for you. So, Guys, any questions on the software that's sort of stopping you from moving forward, we'll take those. If you have general support questions with the software, send them to support at scrollbrush.com and uh, we'll get to them. Yeah, I can't be surprised. Games. If you just sold one, one service, this tool is paid for. Yeah. And, yeah, know. that's why I was so emotional when Iman sent that, that testimonial. Like, 12 hours later, he got a client. I was just like, oh, my God. It's better than I've ever done. I remember, Todd, remember when we were launching Project Supremacy and what we were telling people to do is go out there and make a bet with people. Um, you know, if you had a friend with a business or some kind of person that you knew with a business, bet them that you could increase their rankings. And uh, you could uh, you almost take that same kind of approach here, guys. Like, um, that person, if they if you win the bet, you'll get the money. But, like, the idea is like the sale price. You could you could sell something at such a low price, like what Lear taught about the what was that tactic called, where you're just selling a really small service, and then you get them for the bigger ones. Yeah, we use that, we use social locking for that. Yeah, so you guys could use that to like even if you if you really wanted to, guys, it's your business. You could like tell someone, look, if I do this one thing for you for free and get a result, will will you come on for the bigger service? You know what I mean? You could do anything you want. All right, so Greg says, am I understanding this correctly? You can teach Total Rookie how to do this. With the training aspects, we realize that for these webinar bonus, we need to include training for people to really be able to have success with this. And that's why we covered every angle. So you have the templates, you have the sales calls. When I've sold courses and stuff for you know thousands of dollars, I've taken people from absolute zero to getting clients within the week. And you know, for someone like like Michael or Iman to do it in a couple of days with a tool like this, it just really speeds up the process. A lot of people asking about guarantees. Um, there is this is a lifetime access price. If you want a special guarantee, you can wait for the public launch, but this is a lifetime access. But if you're absolutely unhappy within 30 days, I'll be no, I don't want to steal your money. You'll get it. You'll get a refund. But just you have to go into this knowing that the stuff works, and uh, that's about it. If you want to wait for launch, some people are saying they don't want sales training or anything like that. You can wait for launch, but it's still going to be way more expensive. You now it's going to be one ninety seven, and you know, plus you have to buy all the, the pro version, all that stuff, so it gets really expensive. Welcome, Scott. There's no monthly fees. Ahead. Some people asking how the emails are sent. Um, you can send them on your own, or you can send them through through our service. Um, if you want to send them through our service, everything is completely tracked. The links are tracked and all that stuff, so it's a bit better. You can give access to your outsourcers. If there's more than one and they want to use different names and emails, then you have to buy, uh, buy it again and set a license for them. You don't need a privacy privacy plugin, but it will help if you want to sell schema hacking. Everybody on this webinar should have the Project Supremacy plugin, or you're in shit. <laughs> yeah, hit up her, will give it to you. Yeah. Jeremiah says, if anyone, if someone asks for a refund on this offer, considering everything that the software can do, I will happily blank them for you. Okay, great. <laughs> Welcome, Ken. There will be a replay. Um, Hopefully by in a couple hours or by tomorrow morning. It does work for businesses outside the US, remember that? 
There are trainings in the back end in the tutorial section once you log in. All of them are there, plus the webinars are like even extra training as I learn more and more about cold emailing, as we get more users, uh, testimonials, and things like that. The price will still be good to go. Guys, I forgot to mention this. I'm really sorry. This deal ends on Friday night at midnight. So this isn't something that's going to be completely open. If you want in on this, you only have three more days, essentially, to get in on this if you want this lifetime access price. Don't wait till the last minute. No monthly fees, guys. I see. I keep seeing people ask that question. It's like you're so attuned to having to pay monthly fees, but this offer is, that's it. What you see is it, 197 and that's it. For lifetime access, no extra monthly fees. Yeah, we actually took a poll the other day inside the Facebook group, and people were saying that they were willing to spend 200 bucks a month on this. But I'm like, no, we need to make a really good offer for, for Project Supremacy people. So it's a lifetime access. You get all the upgrades for life. Stefan says, what's the sender's email address? Your email address. So they reply to you and they see it from you and your name and everything. There's no other expenses along with scope leads. Uh, Dave asks. Pretty much have scope leads, you get unlimited emails, unlimited everything. Um, can't think of anything else you'd have to pay for. You already have Project Supremacy. <laughs> hey Miguel, yes it will, so keep your hands on the steering wheel. He says, I'm still driving home, so he must be listening on his uh, Bluetooth or something. But yeah, it'll it'll be there. And you guys, anyone that's looking okay. for the replay, we are gonna we'll mail that out to you and we'll post it in the group uh, so that you'll have the link to the replay if if you want it. But that's not gonna go up until uh, later tonight or tomorrow morning. So Jorge is asking about the redirect. So yeah, it's gonna go to leohain.com. Um, but the replay page will be on that on that link by tomorrow. So don't be afraid if it's going to a different website. Yeah, just keep this URL, guys because the replay will go there tomorrow. Carlos says, when do we get the bonus? So everything is unlocked for you the moment you get in there. So you'll get your login details once you pay. You'll get some welcome emails, some support emails, and then you're ready to log in and start giving the bonuses, start downloading the templates and sales, sales scripts and everything like that. It does work for English, non-English speaking countries. Dave, if you want to pay it through different ways, contact me. If you guys aren't getting the login details, it's probably just because we have a lot of users coming in. Just give it a couple minutes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Come to you. I'm pretty sure I already know the answer to this one, but uh, some people are asking about foreign language. Foreign language. It depends on the context. Um, I mean, the audits generated are in English as of now. We have a couple requests to translate them. Um, what we usually recommend is certain certain free plugins to translate the tool as you use it. Pretty much, if you understand like this webinar, you're going to understand most of the navigational tool, like the word campaign and things like that. But there's not much text in the in the software. <laughs> Ken says no guitar solo. I know what he's referring to. Brad says, I'm broke, just getting started in, in this, and it makes sense even to me. JC, you're going to get your login info in a couple minutes. If you still don't get it, email support, and we'll get that for you. Thanks, Greg. Yes, there's a built-in CRM, so I showed it for, for a little bit. It's a really simple CRM. I like to use it. You don't have to pay for any extra additional CRM, you have like a built-in lead tracking uh, simple CRM to sort of update the status and if you lost the deal or anything like that. 
So Stefan, the software doesn't do audit videos automatically, it just allows you to find the leads and then automate the sending process. So you can automate, or rather you can generate a link for that audit that I showed you, and you can just send it to the process saying, here's a full-blown audit we did for you. Um, and at the bottom, it tells them to call you, you know, to your personal logo and your personal website. Did you show that audit output? I don't recall it. I might have been looking down. Yeah, I showed it. Okay. That's a lot of good talking points in those audits. Scott will definitely help you out tonight. Bonus templates in the back end. Welcome, Carlos. The reporting is on a dashboard. It's, it's rather simple reporting. Oh, we're improving that at each and every day. Brad says I got all the emails in two seconds. Great. Scott Powell. Your um, spam. Yep. Go ahead. What? I was just saying, Scott Powell, um, Lior will definitely help you tonight. Obviously, he can't help you immediately. He's just kind of tied up on the webinar, but he'll, he'll definitely be helping you out tonight. Just email that support address. Yeah. Check your spam, guys. It could be in there. Hopefully not, but shouldn't be. Daryl, we're going to add a feature to, to automate the fake audits pretty easily. Um, you can do it with... I don't even know why you'd want to do a fake audit if you can do mobile lacking and just show them how bad their website is. Um, you don't have to fake it because the software already does it for you. Or hey, you're still having issues buying, I would just try to go to the link on the screen and uh, it should forward you to Lior in. If not, you can hit up Parker or myself and we'll, we'll guide you. Welcome, Jeremiah. Welcome, Hamid. Scott, you can't import your own list. Um, it's not an autoresponder. We don't do like email marketing or anything like that. We are just a lead finder and outreach automation tool. Martin says, can I use your software to send emails to authority websites to offer free copy for their websites in exchange for a link? Yeah, like I said, we have, like I have a guy selling music. He's not even selling SEO, he's selling music and programming services. You can use the tool however you like, it will just be, you know, filtered according to, according to the different uh, searches that we have. We have social locking, finding social media, uh, websites that are uh, lacking social media, SEO lacking, AdWords lacking, website lacking, mobile website lacking. We're adding more, more and more each week. Um, there's a kind of an interesting question. Can I use your software to send emails to authority websites to offer free copy for their websites in exchange for a link? Yeah, yeah I just read that one out. Um, you oh, did like you? I Sorry. Said, you can use it any, any, any way. I would, you can, you, you can uh, shoot me a message in the Facebook group and I'll teach you how to uh, sort of stand out or do a search only for authority websites. Richard already started doing his first search, got 33 leads. That's amazing. <laughs> awesome, man. That's so awesome. See you, Mark. See you inside. Thanks. Puyan says, for someone who will work with paper call, can this be a good tool? In fact, if you're doing paper lead, this is probably an even better tool. So the examples we gave, like Iman and all those guys, got great results. They were selling either foot in the door techniques or paper lead. So they had clients so fast because they were selling much more higher converting offers. But you can also sell straight up, go straight for the straight kill like I do for you know 1,500 or 2,000 per month plus SEO. Welcome, Jana. Sue says, how many emails go out in a series? Depends how many were in the, in the sequence. You can do up to four. Jana says, how can this tool help people build a master domain? 
I don't know what that is. Maybe. You know, it's a schema thing that the Herc knows about. Yeah. I, I'd say this is more a prospecting tool, Jana. Project Supremacy would be more a fulfillment tool. Welcome, Greg. Welcome, Jason. All right, guys, we're going to close out soon. If you have any last-minute questions that's stopping you from moving forward, let us know. If you have questions about the software and you're already inside, just speak to us in the Facebook group. Um, it's not for support. It's for sort of sales talk only. But you can use the support address in your chat box uh, to ask us any questions. Welcome in, Martin. <laughs> Welcome, Scott. So excited. I love you. Yeah, Scott. Scott's Jack. Greg missed the pitch. Watch the replay, everybody. Brad Blosser's uh, pretty pumped, too. Welcome in, buddy. <laughs> David, yeah, New Zealand, Austin. I was just there. Scott will help you out right after this. Simon, Jesus this is the training. Go ahead. Go ahead. Chase says, are the trainings in the back office or are they webinars? Both. So all the trainings, the components that we mentioned here, the templates, the sales training, the Facebook stuff, that's all in Facebook and in the software once you log in. The webinars are obviously not in the software. We are going to do them live. We help you sell calls and leads. If that's paper lead, yes. It is. Yeah, we used it. So yeah, it is with the <laughs> yep. I was gonna say it can be used for anything, guys. Um, look up um, you know, people that are interested in what you're what you're offering, whether it's a service, a fix, a lead, anything. It's it's a contact tool. And we'll give you a list of contacts, and the content of your email is use your imagination. Yeah, use your imagination. Most powerful tool you got. Exactly. Dion says, what would you say is the best feature that stands out? I think we already went over that. I'd say it's probably schema lacking and mobile lacking. So the ability to, to not have to go to each and every website and right click and see if they're using schema or not. You just get a lead, you know, a lead list generated automatically. And it sends an email automatically saying, hey, you're missing schema. It's pretty awesome. Like I would just be sitting there all day like in all these cities and just like try to find people that need schema and explaining what it is. And then I'd even charge them like even 150, 200 bucks, like say, look, I'll put schema on your site. And just do it all day long over and over and over and over. And you're going to get so many people that get such a good boost from just doing schema that you could get a long-term potential client out of that. And if you don't, well, you made a 200 or 150 or 200 bucks, like, and it took you, what, 30, 40 seconds to implement the schema with Project Supremacy? Like, so fast. And then they're going to tell their friends. Yeah. Yeah, we have, a, we have, we have people sharing so much in the group a list of 44,000 cities so you can just automate all that and you have you, you'll be good for like a couple of years with that David the easy explanation of schema is just if, if you have to add, try and sell schema to a client and they were like well what is it just be like when you do a search and you see a site show up with star ratings like a business related site that shows up with the star ratings, that's what schema does. Well, that's, I mean, that's one aspect of it, but at least it's something visual that a business owner can understand very easily. Foot in the door. Google loves sites with schema because they don't have to think about what it's about. You're giving it to them, feeding it straight to them exactly who you are, what you do, what you're into. And they just love it. Yeah. Um, it says, can it tell if the site is WordPress? That's actually a great feature suggestion. Put it up in the group. 
the green, is it? It is. Yeah, Project so Supremacy also has an HTML schema injector, guys. Um, so if you do reach a client with an HTML site, then you can always use our schema injector. Is that is that in reference to Stefan's question, Todd? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, the, and, and I want to further on that, too, because Stefan kind of said, you know, Project Supremacy is only for WordPress sites. And Todd said, well, we also have that injector for HTML sites. But as an SEO, I mean... A tool like this is is a prospecting tool. You should be the one that understands either how to get a job done for a client or how to hire a job and get it done for a client. So if this, the prospect's website isn't WordPress, you just you just need to figure it out. That's what we do as SEOs, right? Dennis, it does tell you how many likes, followers, etc., that the person has in the audit. Uh, we also detect like if they're missing Facebook or Twitter. Basically, the idea is foot in the door. So, if you can find everyone that doesn't have a Google Plus page, you can then automate the whole thing and say, "Hey, you don't have a Google Plus page or a Facebook page," and it'll merge that page in, and you can say, "You know, I'll sell it to you for." for 20 bucks right now, optimize it, and you'll be good to go with getting more leads from these sites. And then they're your client. So you take that client, you say, hey, you know, I did this good work for you, why don't we hop on a call about SEO or schema or something else? And that's how you sort of upsell them to a greater service. That's why we built in that feature. I think, uh, yeah, I think let's close it out there approaching the two hours here. Yeah, I just got a marriage proposal from Brad, so I think I should end it. <laughs> That's always a good place to end things on the marriage proposal. <laughs> Peter will send out the, the replay and stuff to you. ProjectSupremacy.com slash scope leads. Uh, the replay will be up there probably late tonight or early tomorrow morning. And we'll mail it, and we'll Facebook it, and we'll tweet it, and we'll Twitter it. And you can go on, uh, you know, Plenty of Fish and it. put it on there, and you can swipe right, and we'll be there, and, you know, all the channels. Maybe we'll go pick up uh, one of those, uh, what's Luke software there, where it just sends everything everywhere? A live... Lock the sleep. Yeah. Some good stuff out there. All right, everybody, I got to run. Yep. Same here, guys. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. really appreciate all of you that uh, took the time out to come and learn uh, some of these great closing techniques that uh, Lior uh, shared with us in the first hour. Uh, you know, I mean, he just kind of laid it out there in the beginning. Uh, if, if you couldn't, you know, if you weren't able to pick up the software, then I certainly hope that uh, you learned some good closing techniques from Lior. I know I have. And uh, for those of you that did get in, welcome. We'll see you in the Facebook group. Um, you know, let's chat it up. Let's make this thing the best it can be. Lior, thank you once again for uh, putting on a magnificent presentation for our gang. Uh, looking at all the marriage proposals you got, uh, I think you did an excellent job. <laughs> Thanks a lot for having me on, guys. Yeah, no worries. You better. Bye, guys. See you in the Facebook groups.